Hello everybody, all the good people of the world. My name is Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, just kidding, it's all right. So today we are gonna be using a paint that I have not used before. I've used it, I have used it before but I have not used it with you guys before and I wanted to share it with you. So this is a paint called Mud Paint, okay? And this is a clay-based paint. It is based out of the US. We're gonna take some of their blue colors and we're going to recreate a grass cloth, linen, denim look on this piece right here. This piece is for my best friend and normally she does super neutrals, but I was like, okay, we have to do something a little bit different. I have to teach people a technique. We have to do something that's not just one color. So we are going to do a grass cloth, denim, whatever, what have you, finish on here. If you wanna see that, stay here with the mud paint. We need to prep this piece and so I'm gonna remove all the hardware for here and I'm going to change the hardware to a gold color with some decor wax. But we're gonna clean the entire piece. It does have a shine on it. So I'm not only gonna clean it with Greenies cleaner, which is going to degloss it, but I'm gonna go over that with water to get any cleaner off. And then I'm going to do a scuff sand with a 120 grit. And you can see right here, a scuff sand is just to take even more of the shine off to give that piece some tooth so that way the paint has something to adhere to. So we're going to scuff sand it and then I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and I'm gonna get all that excess dust off. Now, if you don't get all the excess dust off but just a microfiber cloth, you can take a damp rag and you can go over it again after you dust it. The first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to put a base coat of Mud Paint's China White. So what I really like about Mud Paint is that they have an actual little dot on the top and that is the color, the actual color of this. And it's a really thick paint, which I like. It's super pigmented, but here's the thing. Because it's a clay-based paint, you can use water to make it glide a little bit further. So right here, I'm gonna show you, that was a dry brush, and I am going to just dip my brush in paint. I'm not gonna use any water to push this paint around, but you're gonna see that you can manipulate this paint and really push it and spread it pretty far. And I think for a white, it has a pretty good cover. So. I'm gonna do the bottom of this piece completely in China white. I'm gonna do two full coats of it. Now, the top is in really good shape and my friend wanted to keep it dark, so I'm not gonna do anything to the top. It's very rare that that happens, that you get a good piece that is exactly what somebody wants, but we're not gonna do anything to the top, just so you guys know, I just wanted to let you know that. So again, we're gonna keep on putting the paint on here. You can see I'm gonna dip my brush in it and then I'm gonna wipe it across and then I'm going to put, I dipped it one more time and then I pulled it up and it really does spread pretty far. And then this is gonna be my second coat, which you're gonna see right here. It has pretty good coverage. This is a preview of the look we are attempting to do. So this is going to be like a faded denim jeans. Think about your favorite pair of blue jeans and how you, there's just different, you know, some dark, some light, it's worn in some areas. And once you get really close, you can see where all those threads are. That is what we are trying to accomplish here. So once our base coat is dry, we are gonna go over it with Newport. And you're also going to need a wallpaper brush. I have a smoothing brush and a wallpaper brush. I like both of them because one of them is more, one is stiffer than the other. And so I just like to use both of them to add even more texture to this. But we are going to put a base, or we're gonna put one coat of Newport on here. And you can see right here, I'm using water to help that spread a little bit more. So in this instance, I'm using the water to show you that you can make it spread a little bit more. But we're doing only one coat of this color. Again, the coverage is really nice. I don't need any more. So we're gonna take the wall, that's the wallpaper paste brush, and I'm going in horizontal, then I'm gonna go vertical. Then I'm going to take the smoothing brush after that, 
and I am going to push down a little bit harder and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Now, someone may say, why are you using both brushes? It's just erasing it. But when you start working with it, when you're up close and in person, you can see that both brushes create two different textures. You don't have to have both brushes. I just happen to, and so that's why I used both of them. I think that the smoothing brush gives you a almost deeper and wider texture, and then the wallpaper paste brush is a little bit more fine. If you wanted just a grass cloth look or you liked this, you could stop here. But again, I wanted a aged denim look. And so we're gonna go in with a darker blue, which is called Catalina. And we're going to add just a little bit more depth and deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to mist this part on here. And now, first of all, I just wanna say that the bottom part, the new port is completely dry. So you wanna make sure that's completely dry before you go in with your next color so that you can layer it without them mixing and muddying together. But I'm going to mist it and I'm just doing a very thin layer. I don't want full coverage of the Catalina. I just want a thin layer. So that way there are areas that are highlighted and then there's areas that are a little bit darker. And this is a paint that, again, it's a clay paint and so when you you add water it's going to move and mix really easy and I want you to see over to the right that's where I misted some water and all you have to do is go into circles and you can fix those watermarks so this is a really easy paint to manipulate and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat the process that you did before with the paste the wallpaper paste brush and with the smoothing brush you're just gonna add even more texture to this and this will be, besides putting your wax on, that's gonna be your final, that's gonna give you this denim look. The final part of this is to seal it and we are going to seal it with the clear wax by mud paint and the clear wax has kind of a little bit of a tint to it like a whitish tint to it but it will dry clear you don't need a lot of it so you can see right here I'm just going to tap my brush into the wax and I'm going to put it on this piece and I'm only going to do the right hand side but you can see how much excess wax came off because this is a softer wax so you really do not need a lot you could put this on with a rag as well but you guys see how on the right hand side it kind of deepens the color a little bit and richens it that's always my favorite part of putting a sealer on. So I'm just rubbing this in really well. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with a microfiber cloth and wipe off any excess that there is. Then you're gonna wait about three to five minutes and you're going to buff it in. When I'm buffing it in, I use a microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna go in circles. I'm gonna go 
along it and I'm gonna do I'm just going to basically rub this wax in until I get a nice little sheen on it and I'm going to rub it until I don't get any kind of catching so if my rag is catching at all that means I need to keep buffing it so you can stop buffing once you your rag or your hand goes smoothly over the surface but you can see right here, I'm just gonna go back and forth. That's buffing it. Then if you do little circles, that's buffing it. It really doesn't take a lot of pressure. And again, you're gonna see a nice little sheen that I'm gonna show you here in a second. Okay, everybody, this piece is done. I hope you guys found this video helpful. It's a pretty easy technique. I did use mud paint, which is a little bit thicker and it gives, um, it, it allows for more texture, which I really, really enjoyed. And then I really enjoy their wax. It dries super, super hard. And as you can see, it has a really pretty sheen to it. So this piece is done. If you guys wanna check out Mud Paint, I'm gonna put it in the description below, the Mud Paint site so that you guys can go check it out if you want to. And then remember those brushes, those are Zinzer brushes, which are just wallpaper paste brushes. You could get any brand really. And it even says on the brushes that it's for faux finishing. So you could go and find a brush that is specifically for grass cloth, which is technically what we did here, except that I made it look like jeans, denim. Hey, I have a joke for you guys, ready? Maybe you don't follow me on other social medias, but this is like the best dad joke ever. What kind of pants do the Mario brothers wear? I'm waiting. Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys do not get that joke, if you guys don't understand the denim, 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 then I can't help you but that's one of my favorite jokes to tell. And so that goes with this. And I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome week, and I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors. And I'll sing until my arms give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go